Welcome back to Mustache Moto, it's Ben, and today I'm filming everything on GoPro because we're talking about motorcycle mounts for your GoPro. I've got five different angles that I think are pretty darn good, and I'm going to show you exactly what each one looks like. I actually went up to North Georgia, rode a little section of Highway 180 five times with the camera in a different location on the bike each time. So that way you can look at them, you can decide which angles you like, and then get the mounts and the parts you need to record that way. Now I've got links to all these different parts in the description below and let's jump into it and I'll show you what we got. All right, what I think is probably for me the most versatile and the most immersive mount is the chin mount. Something that's mounted on the chin of your helmet to give the perspective of you as the rider. Um, the great thing about that is you can look around, you know, you can, you can follow something with your face if you turn towards it, you know, the camera is going to be pointing to it also. Um, or if you look down at your speedometer, you look up, anything like that. Hey, I totally forgot to mention, if you're riding off-road, the chin mount is the only way to go because your body is going to absorb all that bouncing around and the up and down and the rocks and the roots and make the video way smoother and much more enjoyable to watch. Now a couple of things to remember and then I'll go into the actual mounting. Um, you got to be careful with your windscreen. If you've got a tall one, you've got to make sure it's clean because if it gets splattered with bugs, it's kind of hard to see through and it's a little, little distorting, disorienting. Um, so this chin mount is actually just a, a regular GoPro sticker mount that I used some uh, modeling clay, some, ceram or some uh, acrylic modeling clay to build a spacer for so that it fits flush onto the helmet and then it's just got the sticker holding it on. You can buy specially made uh, chin mounts for different helmets. Those are a little expensive. Um, and then there's a couple other options I'll show you in a second. The other great thing about this is if you want to narrate your videos, you can mount this, and I'll, I'll go into this in another video, with the uh, audio mod and then have a, a lavalier plugged on the inside of the helmet and you're getting the audio of you speaking, not just the wind noise. So two other ways you can mount on the chin like that. This is what I started with. It's about a $10 mount that literally straps and buckles around the chin bar. Uh, good thing about this is it's easily removable, doesn't mar up your helmet, and then the strap gives you something to, to clip a lavalier mic onto if you want. It's a little clumsy though, a little finicky, not perfect. This is a great mount. So this is a clip type, it's a very strong clamp, and then it's got the GoPro finger mount attachment on it. So you mount your GoPro on it. You can even mount a mic on the inside if you want, a lav, and then you just shove it under the chin bar and clip it on. So if you're getting on and off the bike, especially with a modular helmet, it's not the most convenient. I've found I like having something permanently attached to the helmet. But the really cool thing about this is you can put it on anybody's helmet, anybody's full face or modular helmet. So you le can leave it mounted up, and if your buddy's about to do something really stupid, you just stop him for a second and put that on his helmet. Then you can shoot what he does. Uh, get his perspective, or if you want your buddy to film you while you're riding, clip this on their helmet and then they can follow along right behind you. This handlebar mount is a great option for general use. It's a great view looking forward, showing the road. The nice thing about this one is it actually has a little ball. You take off your mirror and then screw your mirror back down with this ball attached and then this brackets onto that um, and that's a, a pivot point for it. So if you want, if you like to have a nice clean motorcycle, like my motorcycle, you can actually unscrew that and take it off and just leave the ball on here. But otherwise this, when you loosen it up, gives you flexibility to move that around lock it in and then I've got this really cool ball head on top here it's real nicely made and that gives me all sorts of options to make sure I get everything leveled the one thing you want to be really careful of with this is that it doesn't interfere if you've got a tall windscreen so make sure as you go all the way to the lock you're not going to hit it especially in if you get different uh, options on your windscreen where it's going to be so I'm pretty just, I mean, it's just barely clears every position here. 
So the other thing that's great about the handlebar mount is it gives you two options. If you want to shoot back at yourself and get that, that view of you riding, you can do that with the handlebar mount. Now I wouldn't suggest this as a primary camera position, um, but if you ever run two cameras, it's, it's great to show you, especially if you're going to record yourself um, talking. Now you could still do it with just one camera if you want to be talking, but you'd need some kind of external way to record the audio if you don't have a camera on the chin also. Okay, right here I've got just a regular GoPro handlebar mount, but I put it upside down and have the GoPro hanging here. So I've got it low to the ground and right behind the front wheel. So this is a great forward-looking perspective. It really emphasizes, you know, when you're turning, diving into turns because the concrete pavement's so close to it. And it's a really dramatic shot. Probably not a great primary shot again because it doesn't show you and just looking at the front wheel could get a little old. Now, be a little careful how you mount this. This is actually pretty close to the front header. And, you know, if if I was doing a lot of uh, kind of sitting in traffic and it was summer, I'd be a little leery that the camera might get too hot and could damage it. So on the open road, it shouldn't be an issue or in colder climates. Um, and as long as you're moving, I think you're fine. But if you're sitting in traffic, make sure you don't get that too close because you don't want to fry the camera. All right, here we've got a monopod, right? And it's attached with two of these adjustable brackets, clamps onto the bike and clamps onto the monopod, and then there's a lower one. So anything that's round or roundish, you can clamp onto. This all came as one unit, and this, it's hard to see, but you can, you can raise it and lower it. And then I've got, again, a ball head on the top of it. This is a little cheaper ball head, not as good as the other one. Um, so I can do a little adjustment on this. Now this angle is kind of the over the shoulder shot. So it gets some of you and your helmet and then the bike, almost what I'm showing you right here, actually exactly what I'm showing you here. And then the road in front of you. So that's a, a good primary camera position um, if you like that. I also want to mention you've seen me use the ball heads on a couple of these mounts and that's because the GoPro 12 has a quarter 20 socket on the bottom. That's your standard tripod mount that's on every camera ever made. Um, so that means any ball head, monopod, tripod, the camera will screw right onto it without the need of those fiddly fingers that come with the GoPro. Now that's something new on the 12, but if you've got an earlier GoPro you're in luck because for about 10 bucks you can get a replacement set of these fingers that just, you just pull this one off with four screws and you put the new one on and it's got the quarter 20 in the bottom so you can retrofit any older GoPro. Okay, now you know exactly what parts you need to get your camera mounted up and start filming your adventures. So get out there, shoot some video, post it and put a link down in the comments. I'd love to see it.